Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here's a quick example of verse, uh, let me see, I want to make sure I read it right. Of verse 15. Then when lust has conceived and it bringeth forth sin and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking firsthand experience now. When I was married to my first husband, I was not aware of his, uh, I was not aware of his uh, intri intrigue, I think. I was trying to find the word that would describe it. His intrigue with X-rated images. I wasn't aware of it. And I started noticing magazines in the trash. And I'm like, what is that? And I'm seeing they're X-rated. I mean, hey, in the buff, baby. So I realized, okay, we got a problem here. Now, we had only been married a month when I noticed it. And I would come in the bedroom. And this is exactly what the sheets would look like. I got to find something light in color. Okay, I'm going to use my, my husband's thing. Imagine this is the blanket. And you're a man in the bed, and this is what I come into the bedroom and I'd see. <laughs> what? I'm trying not to laugh. I'm sorry. Because it really does look pitiful. You don't know how bad that looks. It looks pitiful. But what he would do is he'd have his magazine under the, under the blanket and he's flipping to get himself all worked up and he starts acting on it. Well, sin, as far as that said, and sin when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Well, what ended up happening was he went from playing with himself to going to naked dance halls to X-rated movies and I, I warned him with this I said don't keep playing because you're going to get out of control just like a dope addict and I don't want to come home and find a prostitute up here in my house <clears throat> so the next thing that happened he didn't bring one in the house but brother man was buying prostitutes left and right it graduated to that just like that and do you know, after eight years of that, he graduated to a full-blown marital affair. Not going to church anymore, not walking with the Lord, it brought forth death. Death to his relationship with God and death to his marriage. What are you willing to lose? What are you willing to lose for this? What are you willing to lose? I don't want to laugh. I'm trying to keep control. I'm not laughing. Yeah, I'm laughing, but it, I can't help. I have a sense of humor, you guys. And some things that other people find painful, they make me laugh because they look funny. I'm sorry. But my point is, what are you willing to to lose what are you willing to give up are you willing to lose the fathering of your children are you willing to lose your jobs are you willing to lose your destiny for I mean we already know you're gonna lose the marriage in time that doesn't go on forever but my goodness are you willing to lose your soul for a nut? <laughs>